Now in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to work out areas of segments and here's a segment that I've shaded. It's the area between a chord of a circle, in this case AB, and an arc ACB. Now in this example I've got a circle with a radius of 6.2 centimeters and the angle subtended between the two radii is 80 degrees. So to find the area of the segment, the method that we follow is we work out the area of the sector OACB and we remove the area of the triangle. So we start then by working out the area of OACB, OACB, the sector OACB, and in an earlier tutorial I showed you that this sector was worked out by doing 80 3 60ths, that's the fraction of the complete area of the circle, so that is pi r squared, so that'd be pi times 6.2 squared. And if you use a calculator, what you should find that you get is 26.8361 and so on. And we'll put that as centimeter squares. And notice, by the way, that I don't round this answer up. I'm going to give my final answer, that's the area of the segment, to one decimal place. So rounding these up in the mid-stages of the problem is going to lead to rounding errors later on. So just leave it something like this, extend your value beyond one decimal place, and uh, so I've got this value, 26.8361 and so on centimeter squares. Next, going to find the area of the triangle, OAB, so we'll put that in, area of triangle OAB equals, and the area of a triangle, when you're given two sides and the included angle, 80 degrees in this case, is worked out by doing half the product of the two sides, so that's 6.2 times another 6.2, so I could write 6.2 squared if you like, times the sine of the included angle, so we've got the sine of 80 degrees. Okay. If we work this out on the calculator, what we get is 18.9280 and so on, centimeter squares. And again, not rounding that answer up. So finally, we're in a position to say, therefore, that the area of the segment, okay, I could define that segment as being ACB, okay, equals, and it's going to be the area of the sector, which was 26.8361, and so on, subtract the area of the triangle, 18.9280, and so on. Working that out gives 7.9081, and so on. And now we can round this up to one decimal place, and we get 7.9 centimeter squares to one decimal place. Okay, so this was an example then demonstrating how we find the area of a segment when the angle here is in degrees. Well, let's see what happens uh, when we're dealing with, say, an example in radians. So, here I have an example where we've got to find the shaded area here of a segment. Okay, and this segment came from a circle of radius 5.1 meters, and the angle subtended here is 2.1 radians. So, as before, we find the area of the sector, okay, so let's just put that in, area of sector, okay, equals, and the area of the sector will be the fraction of the area of the complete circle, and that fraction will be 2.1 radians compared with the number of radians in one complete turn, which is 2 pi, and then this will be multiplied by, it's this fraction of the area of the complete circle, which would be pi r squared, 
where the radius is 5.1 squared. Okay, so we have radius 5.1, then we square it. Okay, you can work this out on a calculator. Remember, you don't have to type in the pi's here because the pi's cancel. So if you want to cancel them, that will save you putting them in. Okay, and working this out, you're going to get an exact answer here because the pi's have cancelled. So you get 27.3105. And that will be in the units of square meters. Now we need just to work out the area of the triangle. Okay, so we'll put down here the area of the triangle. Area of triangle equals half the product of the two sides. So that's 5.1 times 5.1, or 5.1 squared, times the sine of the included angle, which in this case is 2.1 radians. So I could write the C there, or I don't have to write it. Okay, It's just understood to be in radians. But what you've got to make sure you do is put your calculator in radians mode. So hopefully you know how to do that. Alright then, so working this out in radians mode, you get 11.2260 and so on and that will be measured in meter squares. So all that leaves us to do now is to find the area of the segment, the shaded area up here, so we can say that therefore the area of the segment okay, equals this area of the sector, 27.3105 and so on, subtract the area of the triangle, 11.22 six zero and so on and if we do that what you get is sixteen point zero eight four four and so on and that's going to be equal to sixteen point one meter squares rounded to one decimal place okay so hopefully you can follow what I've done there not too difficult, just simply find the area of the sector and always subtract the area of the triangle. Just make sure though you're right you're working, I should say, in the correct mode, whether it be radians or degrees. Make sure your calculator is in the correct mode.